let's first look at the rules and guidelines. The rules and guidelines, as I said, there are rules, there are things that we have to abide by and have to, to use as they are enforced. And then there are guidelines, things that we believe that are good for the good experience of a hybrid session. And that if you, if you don't do it like this, please do your best and share how you do it so that we can all learn together. First, let's go by the rules. One very clear thing is that Toastmasters International, one year ago, was very reluctant in promoting a hybrid session. They wanted to keep us safe, and that is the most important thing. And we have also tried to replicate that intent in every single other rule that we have. Uh, because Toastmasters International, as the name says, is an international organization. Uh, and then for us as members, as club goers in, in all, we just have to abide by other rules. So your country has rules, either it be Portugal, Spain, Morocco, China, United States. Every country has rules. And specifically inside each country, then each location it's part of the country in the United States. Each state has its own set of rules that we should always abide by. Then the space where you meet or the space where we meet, it is also crucial that we follow their rules because if they're not comfortable with us having hybrid sessions, just as Sergio Agui kindly presented, Ange, they wanted us to meet, they wanted us to promote. And then with that knowledge, we also help them get more people to go to their spaces and use hybrid sessions. And ultimately, and perhaps even the most important of all, is that members have a voice. They, have, they, they should be heard because it doesn't make sense to have a hybrid meeting if you're not gonna have members that want to participate in person in these meetings. If they only want to stay online, what you should be having is online meetings and there's nothing wrong with that. It's simply a different experience. Then we go to the guidelines and the guidelines more and more they're becoming less mandatory. That's why they're not rules. But as guidelines, what we feel that is important, specifically in Invicta, is that we still maintain some social distancing. And we'll see this when we show how we set up a room. Then everyone should be wearing a mask, everyone that goes to the room. And then the specific of what happens when someone is on stage. And in the past, we all used to shake hands and even give warm embraces to, to each other. That's not what should be happening or that's not what people still feel comfortable doing. So what happens when someone is on stage? When they're passing the stage, they should be passing the stage with their elbow or their foot to the next speaker. If there is more than one person on stage, everyone should have a mask because it's, it, if we reduce some sort of social distancing, it's helpful that we have the mask on. And when you're alone on stage, and this is very important, you may take your mask off, but no one can or no one should force you to. But the truth is, we, we in Invicta, we always take the mask off because there's the clear difference in sound that we make. Uh, one guideline that we feel that is very helpful for us is the warm clothing because the space needs to ventilate with this COVID going around. It's very important that we have this, this ability to freshen up the air. 